show that the total area of the square and the circle deformed is given by this equation. A ball uses 12 meters of wire to form a circle and a square. Each side of the square is x meters long. So on each side of the square, we're supposed to have x meters. So we're going to have something that looks like this. So the amount of wire used to make the square is 4x as each side is x meters long. Amount of wire used to make the circle will be 12, the total amount of wire, minus the amount of wire that was used to make the square, which is 4x. The wire used for the square and the wire used for the circle. As soon as you miss this, there's no way you can answer this problem. You need to realize that this is the case. So for the area of the square, we're going to have the area being equals to x squared. And then now comes to the area of the circle. The amount of wire used for the circle is 12 minus 4x. This is the circumference of our circle. It is 12 minus 4x. So we can say that 2 pi r is equals to 12 minus 4x. 2 pi r is the formula you use to get the circumference. In this case, it is equals to 12 minus 4x. We want to find the area of the circle. So I'm doing this so that I can find the radius. Because as soon as I have a radius, I have an area for that circle. If I divide both sides by 2 pi, I'm going to get r being equals to 12 minus 4x divided by 2 pi. I think I can factor out 2 here on the radius. If I do that, I'm going to get 6 minus 2x divided by pi. I took a 2 as a common factor on the numerator and then on the denominator and I cancelled out. So the radius is 6 minus 2x divided by pi. Now we can go ahead and find the area of our circle. So the area of the circle will be pi r squared. So we're going to have pi multiplied by the radius, which is 6 minus 2x divided by pi squared. This will be equals to pi multiplied by, so 6 minus 2x squared, 6 multiplied by 6, that is 36. 6 multiplied by minus 2x, that is minus 12x. You multiply that by 2, you get minus 24x. And then minus 2x multiplied by minus 2x, we're going to get plus 4x squared. Everything divided by pi squared. We can cancel out pi and pi. So we're going to get 4x squared minus 24x plus 36 divided by pi. This is the area of the circle. And this is the area of the square. We want to find the total area. So we can just easily add those two. We're going to have the area being equals to x squared plus 4x squared minus 24x plus 36 divided by pi. So I can rearrange this and get pi x squared plus 4x squared minus 24x plus 36, everything divided by pi. I have x squared and x squared, which I can take as a common factor of those two terms and get the area being equals to 4 plus pi multiplied by x squared minus 24x plus 36, everything divided by pi. And this is what I'm required to prove. The total area of the square and the circle formed 9.1. Let's move to 9.2. Determine the value of x for which the total area is minimum. So the area is equals to 4 plus pi x squared minus 24x plus 36, everything divided by pi. Uh, we need the value of x for which this area is a minimum. So we need to derivate at some point. It looks like it will be very difficult to derivate, but it is actually not. Let me show you how. Uh, let's give every term on the numerator its own base of pi. 
So if we do that, we're going to get 4 plus pi multiplied by x squared divided by pi minus 24x divided by pi plus 36 divided by pi. So we want to derivate and equate to 0. Here we just simply apply in the power rule. So we're going to have 2 multiplied by 4 plus pi divided by pi x minus 24 divided by pi. 36 divided by pi is a constant. So this will be equals to 0. So now we can say that x is equals to 24 divided by pi uh, with everything divided by 2 multiplied by 4 plus pi divided by pi. The value of x for which the area will be a minimum is 1.68 meters.